as you all know that uh, we are covering NX2, all the important aspect of NX2 because I, I was receiving requests from people after covering NX1, NX4, NX6. So we have in NX2 we have already covered what is category X, category Y, category Z cargos, okay, uh, which are support and uh, what is NLS and then we also have covered discharge criteria for all those three in my previous videos you can watch that now comes is a very separate and important question if even if you have not sailed on such type of ship this question can be asked discharge criteria may be asked with that so with this all the important ones uh, which can probable ones the questions which can be asked in this uh, uh, thing are covered over here so i am again and again asking you about nx2 which is regulation for the control of pollution by noxious liquid substance in bulk so all the annexes of marpole has prevention except this annex which is control so why it is control please do comment this is this was also a question which was asked well sir so if i talk about p and a manual in short form it is known as p and a manual which is procedures and arrangements manual okay that is p and a manual so it is a manual to identify the arrangement and equipment required to enable compliance with NX2 okay, and to identify for ships, officers, all operational procedures with respect to cargo handling, tank cleaning, slop handling, residue discharging, ballasting and deballasting so this is in a nutshell altogether exact text from there i have kept it for you here okay every ship which is certified to carry substances of category xyz shall have okay shall have on board a manual approved by administration it should have standard format okay it should have standard format in compliance with appendix 4 of this annex so there is there is a format uh, sorry uh, appendix 2 of this annex uh, there is it is given there and it has to be as you all know that all the documents they tend to be in english french or spanish okay and and, and one can be in a local language the main purpose of the manual is to identify for ship's officer the physical arrangement and at the operational procedure with respect to cargo handling, tank cleaning, slop handling, cargo tank, ballasting, deballasting, which must be followed to comply with the requirement. So, okay, so this is what is all about. So here we also have cargo record book. Operations involving noxious liquid substances and mixture containing them must be recorded in the cargo record book. Since one of the aim of the book is to enable control by foreign authorities, the format of the book should be uniform for all ships regardless of flag and an internationally understood language should be used. Regulation 9 of the Annex 2 of the MARPOL stipulates that if the national language in which the entries are made is neither routine operation, the code consists of a letter denoting an activity and a figure specifying part of the activity. This code which like the CRB is uniform and forms part of the book like we also have code in your where which book ORB oil record book necessities further elaboration in the form so these are requirement every ship to which NX2 is applicable must be provided with a cargo record book whether each part of the ship official logbook or otherwise in the form of a appendix 2 may there is a sample that is given there okay so this is all together about cargo record book and your procedure and arrangement manual so i hope it is clear for you so we have covered procedure arrangement man manuals in previous video i've covered what is category x y and z and in other video we have covered what are the discharge criteria for category x y and z these are the probable questions and one question i am asking you all that why it is control unlike other annexes of marpole which is prevention okay please do comment thank you so much